Hi everyone, um, we are both egg donors and tonight we're just going to be answering some kind of common questions about egg donation and a little bit of our thoughts about the whole process. So to get started, what inspired you to be an egg donor? So my story is kind of interesting and super random. Um, I was actually reading this blog that a woman had posted um, and she had a lot of troubles um, trying to conceive and she eventually had to use a surrogate and an egg donor and prior to that I had really never thought about egg donation or what an egg donor does or like how it's relevant to people struggling with infertility so that day I searched up about being an egg donor and looked into it and decided that it was something that I could do and yeah prep fertility came up and I instantly was like I'm just gonna apply to this <laughs> Um, the next question is, what is the medical process like? Um, so we started off doing blood tests, checking for ovarian reserve count and infection disease screening, among other things. That was really the first step before you could get anything yeah. else started. And then uh, you get an ultrasound done and it kind of confirms those results, just checking on your ovaries once again, making sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just kind of like streamlines really quickly actually. Yeah, it was a pretty quick process. The third step was really just FaceTiming with the nurse, going over what procedures you would need to do. Yeah, um, the uh, injections. Yes, the injections are like something that I was personally worried about. Mm -hmm. And I was worried that they would hurt or that it would be hard or something, but they're really not no. that bad. And it becomes a normal thing. It's only yeah. 13 days about that you do it. Yeah, it so. just becomes routine and you get used to it and they're super informative and they tell you everything that you need to yeah. do and it's all laid out for you and if you ever have any questions you can ask or they mm -hmm. send you links of videos if you're unsure about something. Yeah, for sure. They can definitely help yeah. with those questions. Um, the next one, or the next step really, is um, having either a phone or in-person a consultation with mm -hmm. a social worker or a psychologist and they're basically asking you about your support systems and kind of why you chose to do this and then they talk to you about whether you chose to be known or anonymous um, so I guess are you choosing to do a known or an anonymous donation um, I was really open with it going either way I think if I had have done an anonymous donation you just mentally prepare yourself from the beginning as long as you're yeah. really in it to help someone else out and you know that you're doing it from the goodness of your heart it's easy to do but this yeah. particular donation that I'm doing is known so I've been in contact with my intended parents and we've really built a good friendship a really good trust and yes yeah. it's, it's going well I like I like it this way but I'm still open to doing anonymous as well. Yeah, I had said that I would be okay with anonymous mm -hmm. or known, and uh, it was really up to the parents' discretion for what they were comfortable with, so I am doing a known donation. We just have like a different relationship yeah. than um, your intended parents have yeah. with you, so mine, we just have like spoken over the phone, so it totally is different for everyone. But anonymous, I completely understand why parents yeah. would want to be anonymous or egg donors would want to be mm -hmm. anonymous. You could just choose. Really it's really just what's like. comfortable for each individual. Yeah. It's good that it can go anyway. And even if you did want to do unknown, I think if either side decided they wanted to do the opposite, that it could probably be done if everyone was on the same page. Yeah. So what is our question? last question is about support systems. Yes. So personally, I was really open with my family and my friends and like everyone that I was doing an egg donation. Uh, I was just like, hey, I'm going to do this. And they were all really accepting, which was awesome um, and really supportive. And they were asking me a lot of questions and just making sure that I fully understood like what I was doing and what I was not getting myself into, but just what the process was going to be like. Uh, so that was really, really supportive to me personally. Yeah. I definitely had family on my side and also the team at Proud Fertility I think has been with both of us separately. Like, so much so support. Good. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for anything better really. They've been there for every question, every minimal concern and yeah. just like really keeping us 
in the game on like what process we were at, mm-hmm. what we needed to do next, and keeping yeah. us on track. Because you can email whenever, ask questions whenever, mm-hmm. and there's so many different people who can answer your questions. Um, it it's endless it becomes support. so normal yeah. after as well. <laughs> yeah. And then the experience wise for me personally, it's exactly what I expected it to be. Like they lay out how everything's gonna go very clearly. So there were never any surprises. Yeah. And it was just kinda like smooth sailing. I like I would have to completely agree, I believe. It was all it was all put out in order. We knew what we needed to get done. Yeah. We got it done as it came up and it was all smooth sailing. It's been great so far. Yeah. But that is all the questions we have for today. So we hope this helped somewhat for anyone who is maybe considering being an egg donor or Mm -hmm. just wanted more information. Yeah. So thank you for watching.